Hello, friends. Welcome back to Mute S Academy. In last session, we talked about what are Salesforce streaming events, and we have seen the types of events also. Okay, so streaming events are you know uh, nothing but you know uh, uh, whenever there is a change on your records, right? So records belongs to objects, and whenever there is a change, whether the record created, updated, deleted, or undeleted. Okay, the events will be produced and those events will be pushed to the event bus and from event bus, subscriber can get the data from there. Okay, and these events will be having a durability. It can vary from 24 hours to 72 hours. And we have seen that past events can be replayed by the clients using the replay ID. Okay, so uh, replay ID is nothing but a unique event reference that is produced in Salesforce event burst. Okay. So we have seen what all use cases we should, uh, you know, consider uh, this uh, event driven or streaming events or streaming API uh, when you're implementing some specific use case in case of Salesforce and uh, Microsoft integration. So yesterday we talked about the, uh, we talked about four uh, different events. Okay. So now today we'll talk about push topic event. Okay. How it works. Okay. How we can create it in the, in the Salesforce. Okay. So push topic, um, you know, notifications are the type of events, uh, you know, generally sent by Salesforce when there is a record change. Okay. And this event uh, structure definition that will be decided by SOQL that is uh, Salesforce object query language. Okay. And in that SOQL, we can we can define fields, which objects, and we can define the condition when you want to, you know, the event to be sent. That is also decided in, in SOQL. And these records can be, you know, uh, the uh, object records can be tracked when they are created, updated, deleted, and undeleted. Okay. So in, in the last session, we talked about one use case. We have implemented that end-to-end. -end. Okay. We have mimicked the system APIs. And we have used any point MQ for you know uh, to give uh, you know decoupling of or you know a more resilient um, uh, implementation. So we have done this. Okay. So now today we'll talk about push topic uh, with SOQL. Okay. So let me go ahead and start implementing. So first we'll go to go to our uh, uh, our Salesforce. So let me uh, let me drag first. Let me. Let me log into Salesforce. So this is where what we'll do. We'll play with the account object and this account object record changes will be tracked or will be uh, notified by push topic to the clients. Okay, so let's see, let's do that. So today I'm going to use Workbench, Salesforce Workbench to, to create the you know, push topic. So let's go ahead. You can go to your, uh, you know, work page and here you can find, uh, you can write SOQLs. Okay. Uh, you can create, uh, you know, push topic events from here. So let's go ahead and create push topic events, a generic push topic event. So let me go ahead and say create new and here we'll create something like, you know, track push topic event. updates. Okay. So this is my push topic event. Now, as I mentioned, right, each push topic events associated with the SOQL. Okay, so let's try simple SOQL. I'll try. You can write, you know, based on your requirement as complex as possible. Okay, so you can decide the fields, you can decide the objects, you can decide the condition when you want to trigger this. Okay, so once this query gives the result, okay, then only this post push topic events will be triggered. Okay, otherwise, if if it won't. It, if you want to uh, you know, uh, satisfy this SOQL, if it returns zero records, your push top events is not going to get triggered. So simple, I'll say ID and I'll say name and I'll just say from account object. So we'll save this, okay? So now you can see that my push topic is created. Now this push topic has to be uh, you know, uh, has to have one subscriber, at least one subscriber who can listen to this push topic. Okay. So let's go ahead to our AnyPoint studio and I have created empty project. And for security reason, I have already, um, 
if I go to global, I have already configured my Salesforce credentials here. Okay. Now let's go to the to our message flow here and let's drag the listener. So we'll be listening on a replay topic. Okay, so let's just say a replay topic listener. Okay, so let's drag it on your canvas. Okay. So since I have already configured Salesforce, it's already available there. Okay, and I'm using basic authentication, nothing uh, special over here. We have already seen how to configure Salesforce uh, in the last session, okay? Now, so topic, what is the name of the topic? We have uh, created uh, a topic, so I'll just copy this. See, go ahead and configure the topic over here. So this is your topic. A replay option, say, from last replay ID and this time I use minus one. So all new events will be, you know, uh, listened by this particular listener. Okay. So that's the configuration of our replay topic listener. And I try to log this message on my console. So I'll just track logger over here and I'll just say, okay. okay so that's it that's what we need once you get the data you can either send it to you know if it is your experience api you can send this data to process api for processing and process api can propagate that data to a system a specific system okay target system okay so let's have a look at it now let's save this and run this application so behind the scene uh comment d technology will be used okay salesforce will use that comment d to you know use streaming apis maintain that connection with mulesoft within mulesoft and the salesforce and finally it will register the topic from here with the salesforce so it will show you that whether it's 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 connected properly or not so comment d and uh, there is something called by uh, uh, some one, one more technology is there which will be used behind the scene so let's wait for this <clears throat> I'll take a pause over here once it's deployed. So this is what I was talking about, BX protocol and committee uh, used behind the scene. Okay, so these are like, uh, you know, used for transporting asynchronous messages or HTTP, okay? And these are scalable HTTP-based event routing bus. So committee is, is, is a scalable HTTP-based event routing bus that uses an Ajax push technology pattern known as Comet, okay? And this, so when, let's say if you don't have the, okay, let me show you whether it's uh, uh, registered properly. So you can see that the source flow has been set. So this is what, okay? So let's go ahead and now, oh, okay, so, yeah, this one. Okay. So, so this, you know, when, when you're trying to register this and if this particular channel won't, I mean, exist, right. It will throw error. That error will be thrown by this technology, this protocol. Bayx. Okay. Now let's go ahead and make some changes to our account object. Okay. Now I'll show you. Okay, so if if we if we go to the to accounts object, we'll pick object. Uh, let me open some existing objects. Let's delete, uh, edit this, and let me try to update something else other than our ID or name. Okay, so let's do this. So if I save this okay so that means i have changed the type and the industry let's check whether we received something here no why because if you see the soql right in, in on the workbench it says that if you edit anything which is mentioned over here id id we cannot edit it right so 
let's look at the name okay so this query is not satisfying any change so whatever change is uh, done on record right these columns are not there that means that's the reason we are not able to see any message received by our app now let me go back and now this time i change the name okay let's go ahead and say save now this time let's look at see here now after this record only one record is there which is just now here this is the second change we did to that particular account now you can see here the last record which is showing id and name okay so if you clearly see the understanding so whatever is mentioned in this soql that will decide whether to trigger this push topic event or not okay and if you want to listen that we have listener called replay topic listener and we have configured based on our requirement so that's all from this session hope you liked it hope you will uh, you know use this uh, use case of small poc in your projects thank you for watching don't forget to like hit the bell icon hit the subscribe button so that you will get notification to the future upcoming videos thank you